What's up, everyone? Chris Record here, and welcome to day six of the 90 Day Challenge. And today is extremely exciting because I have the opportunity to be able to bring out a guest trainer with me for day six here. Now, some of you may already know him, Damian Coughlin, and some of you may know him because this isn't his first time helping out in the tech academics community. He's done some exciting things with us. But the thing that you want to know more than anything is that Damien crossed an amazing milestone with his business. And one of the milestones with his business is he's actually done over 400. Watch this. Over $400,000 so far in Shopify store sales. Okay? That's an amazing, amazing milestone. Now, not only did he do that, since April 1st, okay, since April First, Damien has already reached all three milestones in new sales, okay, for the 90-day challenge, okay? Already, already reached all three milestones, okay? So he basically crushed out in just the first couple days, $100 in sales, $1,000 in sales, and even $10,000 in sales. So Damien is, is killing it. Damien has crushed out over... $400,000 in sales. So I figured, why not um, bring him out as a guest? And so I hit him up and said, hey, Damien, you're willing to share some value. Now listen, this is the 90-day challenge, which means that this value is free. And, you know, Damien's time is worth money. Okay, Damien's time is very, very valuable right now. Which do you think, which, which is better time for him to sit around and, and spend, um, you know, an hour with us right now or for him to work on his store and spend an hour, obviously working on his stores. But he was willing to come here. We are at Techademics headquarters right now. He was willing to come here and willing to uh, help out. So it's exciting. So I'm going to introduce him in just a second. Before I do, I'm going to go over here to the 90-day challenge. If you guys are watching live or if you are watching in the replay, you should be able to come up with the 90-day challenge. Uh, you should be watching live. It looks like people are just now jumping on. Uh, and so we're kind of giving the time to build up. Usually we have hundreds of people on. Numbers are just jumping up. And in the comments right here, can you guys go ahead and give me a confirmation? Uh, say yes and yes if you can see my screen well and if you can hear me well. I always like to check volume. Go ahead and give me a yes and yes. And I'm going to show Damien here the comments that are coming in. Mm -hmm. So anytime we want, we click on this tab here and we'll just be able to see the comments just flying in. So when we ask questions, they're going to be here, Damien. You can see yes and yes. People mm -hmm. can, um, now they can't see us. They can see my screen and they can hear us. Got okay. It. Got so um, you guys, we're excited. Who's excited to learn about Shopify selling strategies from someone who has generated over $400,000 with their store. Let me know who's fired up, who's pumped up, who's excited. Okay, and as you guys are following along in the notes, you'll notice that Damien, being the prepared guy he is, has, uh, he's actually broken out a lot of notes on a lot of stuff he's gonna cover today. So get ready, pull out your pen and paper, and um, take notes on what he, what he doesn't type up, and of course, you're all gonna get access to this document as well. So with that being said, with no further ado, I wanna pass the mic and the screen over to a very good friend of mine, someone we like and love in the tech academics community, Mr. Damien Coughlin. Take it over, Damien. Thanks, Chris. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. Um, and I thanks tech, tech academics for inviting me down. I just live about seven miles away, and it was a last minute uh, decision to come down. And you know, that's the joy of being an entrepreneur. You know, every day is different. So an hour ago, I was scaling Facebook ads, and Chris was like, hey, I need you to jump on and provide some value to you guys. So I was like, no problem, let's do it. So I created some notes, guys, for you. And, um, you know, we're going to run down through some notes today. And um, I'm going to tell you, you know, basically my adventure in the past six months and how I've managed to, you know, implement processes and systems and find products and scale to the number that I have today. And, um, you know, I'm just going to look at, look at the comments coming in. Uh, thank you, Paolo CQ, Gabrielle. Lucky, Ronnie, thank you so much, guys. I hope you're all ready and you're getting ready to take down some notes, guys, right? So a quick introduction about me, okay? Um, I started Shopify in November the 1st, right? And basically, no prior internet marketing knowledge, right? And literally... Um, I came from a corporate background, so I always wanted to try something new, something different, right? Step outside of my comfort zone. And, you know, I admire you guys because you're taking the same steps that I did six months ago, right? So taking massive 
action. And that's the number one thing that I see be between winners and people that stay stuck um, you know, at, at what they're doing, right? So it's all about taking massive action, right? So again, from a corporate background, and you know, I became very good at working in corporate, but then I realized that there was a massive other world out there, right? A totally other, different um, new age of social media and traffic, and you know, that we could take advantage of, advantage of this, right? So um, I joined up here with, with, with Chris and team and Techademics, and I started looking at strategies, and I got started straight away. I moved to um, Phoenix, Arizona, so I left San Francisco, moved to Phoenix, Arizona, and I connected with Lauren Zapante and all the guys at the Marketers Mansion, and that's how I became connected with like-minded individuals. So guys, a lot of you out there are probably working this thing on your own. I, I encourage you to surround yourself with other people, like-minded people, right? Maybe they are friends, maybe they are people that you have connected on different forums, okay? So, so collaborate, right? So collab, collaborate. Let's see, collaborate and enjoy the ride, right? We are stronger together than we are apart, right? That's very important, guys, right? I would not be where I am at today if I hadn't had the mentorship of Chris, Peter, Michael, Jim, Lawrence Aponte, Aaron Burden, and the list goes on and on. Roslyn, the list goes on, right? So each one of you watching today, guys, I want you to get your skill levels up and your fear levels down, right? That's so important in anything we do, right? Even in the gym, right? We're, we're fearful that we're not going to hit our max bench, right? It's all, about, it's all about getting those skill levels up because I can guarantee you guys, when you become, um, as you grow in your journey, build, grow, manage, as you build, grow, and scale your businesses, you're going to become an expert just like me, just like Chris, right? So this is a journey, guys, and we're building assets. So this is not something that, you know, it's a quick cash and grab business, this is all about having assets so that down the line, down the, down the line, we can flip or transfer, right? The next foot, uh, topic I want to discuss before I go into the actual nitty gritty is, um, you know, you, you are your own yardstick, right? Okay? So just because you see me doing crazy numbers, um, you shouldn't feel like, you know, why aren't you at that step, right? It's, it, it's, a, it, it's, it's a, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, right? That's just a, wasn't built, okay. And the last piece of advice, guys, and I think this is probably the most crucial bit, right? You, you guys, right, you're in a unique situation right now. You have Chris, who's generated millions and millions of dollars online, who spent thousands of uh, dollars in Facebook ads, in researching products, in creating brands, in driving traffic, in networking with high-level individuals. You've got to take advantage of this, right? So if you're watching, you're not taking notes, or if you're watching and you're, and you're, on your, on your, and you're, you're texting your friend, I encourage you guys to really pay attention, right? So as Chris mentioned at the start of the 90-day challenge, it's about three things. It's about building, growing, and scaling your online businesses, right? Okay. Um, so that's just a quick introduction. Let me look at, the, look at the comments and see what's going on right now. Um, um, Amparo, y Yvonne, thank you so much for your cooperation, guys. My accent, yeah, my accent is crazy. I've been in America four years and it still hasn't gone. So thank you so much, guys. Yeah, 150 people online. This is great, guys, okay? So let's go back to the notes. Um, so let's see where we are. So products, guys, right? The most important thing, in my opinion, is products, right? Products are so crucial, guys. And, you know, a lot of people ask me what they should be selling, right? There are shirts, hoodies, tank, right? Summertime is coming. Summertime is coming, right? So you've got to really be testing products, right? So your hoodies, your posters, your necklaces, hats, beer sleeves, yoga mats. If you're not willing to test these products, guys, um, you know, 
and you wonder why you're not making sales, you've got to really, you know, you start to put inside a, a budget, right? You've got to be willing to say, okay, I haven't tested a hat yet, or I haven't tested a beer sleeve. Or, you know, there's this yoga mat that, you know, I've been putting off testing, and I've seen it all over Facebook. I've seen it all over AliExpress, right? And the last thing, guys, is unique products always win, right? Unique products always win. I have a product right now that no one else, no one else in the entire world is selling. That's a fact. I have a unique product, and this product actually came about, right? So, let's see. I have a unique product. Where did I find? So guys, I found this at the ASD Week, right? ASD Week is a marketplace in Las Vegas where you can go and attend um, a trade show where suppliers basically showcase their talents, showcase their, their products, right? Now, the reason why this is winning for me, guys, is because no one has seen this before right so this gives me a competitive competitive advantage so I see a lot of newbies um, and what they're doing is they're rehashing old designs so a lot of new people sell the same thing right guys do not try and copy or sell what other people are selling, guys, unless it's a really viral product or, you know, it's new to market, okay? So, be creative. Enter market at unique angle, all right? Okay. So, guys, I will go into products more detail. I'll actually go into AliExpress later, and um, I will start doing... Um, some product research, but well, actually let's maybe we can go into some right now, right? So tapestry, right? Now, guys, tapestry, right, is pretty unique product, okay? And what I liked about it is, number one, um, it's, very, it's a customer match, right? So you can match this very easily through Facebook ads, right? So if you come down here and you're seeing all these creative designs, right, you know? What you may do, right, what you may do is you may come in here and you may, you might say, you may type orders, right? And you may say, oh, look, this has got 7,000 orders. I'm going to sell this, right? No. Actually, that doesn't have e-packets, so I, I don't recommend selling any products um, without e-packet, right? E-packet is the destination um, delivery that we use, okay? So instead of you choosing this product, right, why don't you go up here and say newest, right? You want to start by newest, okay? So now, now what's happening is you're getting the newest, right? You're getting the, the brand new designs, the new background, the new ad copy. So a lot of these designs are very, very nice, and they're easily targeted, right? You could, like you could target this uh, Indian tapestry to people who love yoga and people who like traveling, right? So maybe like they're you know, entrepreneurs, they like traveling, or you know, they're basically students traveling the world, etc., like that, right? So we we go down here. These are all these are all brand new, right? They're all new 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 to um new to to AliExpress, right? And in here we have an option. We can say, okay, e packet from US or where does it ship from? Do we want it from USA or China? Um, we can say, you know, um, show me only the 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 the, the ones with a uh, high rating. So um, you can do that, right? Like here's the, an interesting design, right? Elephant mandala design, right? So if you're in the yoga niche, this is a great product to sell, right? So I will go into product research more later, right? But again, guys, it's all about you. Let's go back to the notes, right? So don't be careless or sloppy in your market research, right? Spend time researching. Usually... usually new products all right so because new products are going to give you a competitive advantage right so facebook ads facebook ads is auction based right so you're competing with other people right competing with other marketers right 
for newsfeed, newsfeed or um, let's say placement, right? Newsfeed or placement. So guys, the more unique your product is, and the more the more um, let's see what's going on here. So the more the more unique your product is, guys, the more uh, Facebook is going to look at it and say, okay, I'm going I'm going to show this to more people. I'm going to give this product more reach. Okay. So again, guys, I'm, I'll go back to I'll go back to um, to product research later. But uh, if there's one thing I want you I want to leave you with on this topic for now, right, is that four P's, right? Four P's of marketing, right? Product, price, place, promotion, right? Okay. And in my opinion, the most important is product, right? Because when you have a product, the targeting is actually pretty easy. I've, I've kind of learned the targeting really good. The biggest thing people have a problem with is actually the product, right? Finding the product, finding uniqueness, finding a good supplier, etc. right? Now, I'm just going to go back to the, um, I'm going to go back to the comments now. And let's say, okay, is it okay to sell something that has no sales record? So, Nurel, um, is it okay to sell something that has no sales record? I mean, if it's, a, if it's a new product, if it's brand new, it mightn't have sales so far, right? But what I recommend, uh, Nural, is basically, right, is taking the product and actually putting it onto your fan page, okay? So putting the product onto your fan page and getting some engagement, getting some feedback from your fans, right? And if you don't have fans, um, you know, you've got to really, like, maybe do some research into Amazon, Etsy, and I'll go through all the different types of um, marketplaces l later, okay? Yeah, Amparo's right. It's your unique, unique selling proposition, your unique selling point, okay? Thanks, Gerard. Thank you so much for all the comments, guys, okay? So let's continue, right? So one of the things you guys starting off, so remember, we're, we're, in, we're in the build stage, okay? We're in the build stage. We're building these assets. It's like a house with a good, with a good foundation. We want to have everything really good before we engage in growing, before we engage in scaling, before we engage in automation, right? So fan pages, right? So I'm gonna call the fan pages are individual. My typing is terrible. Individual assets, right? Now the reason why I do um, one fan page per product or per niche is because um, so I run a generic store, and so let's see. I run a generic store. I have multiple I have multiple fan pages. I want to have a direct relationship with each customer, all right? Customer is ping and is an important part of your organic sales. Okay guys, so I want you guys, when you're selling a product, so, selling, so say you're selling um, a yoga product, right? So say you sell a yoga um, ball, create a yoga page, okay? Because down the line, guys, what's going to happen is that, um, say you start, say you start, say you start with generic store, you may find a winning niche, right? Then you can use all right. So, so once you find a winning niche, guys, you can use that fan page as basically an asset to drive your niche store. If that makes sense, guys, right? So another thing, guys, when it comes to fan pages, right? So I actually think that fan pages, guys, people don't um, put, enough, put enough work into them. Um, so you got to post content, right? Post content. Tell a story. Understand who your customer is, right? So the more you know your customer, the more you're able to target a product to the customer okay engage build report right okay 
Um, so I have a fan page right now growing at 3,500 uh, fans a week without any ads, um, without, without any, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, so I'm not running page likes without any fans a week without So the reason why I'm getting three and a half thousand fans guys is because I'm basically using very engaging content and I'm finding videos finding viral finding vi Viral content right Tag share right so what I'm doing is I'm asking my my initial customer base to share and tag the content that I'm posting right and what happens what happens over time is that your fans become your content generator okay so that's very important guys right so when you're setting up these individual fan pages um, the more value you give, right? So the value, the value you give, is in direct proportion to the value or engagement you get in return. Okay. Proportion, oh, man. Chris is. Uh, Okay, so that's fan pages, guys. Please, uh, actually, yeah. One, one one question for you guys is: so make sure, make sure you add a suitable profile and cover photo. Okay. Also, add a brief description about who who you are and your vision add a shop now add a shop now button cuz when you add a shop now button guys when people land on your page so when people when people go to your fan page they can click the shop now button okay so that's going to bring you, like right now, that's bringing me about 5% about of my total sales is actually coming from the shop, shop now button. All right. Okay. So let me, uh, if you don't know where that is, let me, let me try and show you. Let's go here and let's go to, um, do, 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 do. let's see, is Chris any fan pages? So I'll go here to go horse lover. So basically, guys, you see the way Chris, you see the way Chris has this lovely shop button, right? So when people go to the page and they see, okay, we're at nice picture, uh, it's a nice cover photo, and they're coming down the reading, they're engaging, yeah, they're liking the comments, very good engagement, nice video. It's gonna see see all the likes and shares. This is what this is about. This is organic traffic, guys. This is what it's all about. Okay, okay. This is exactly why Chris is good at marketing, right? Because he knows the content to put out, right? And you know he's got the shop now button. So when you install the shop now button, guys, it's gonna have these um, carousel type um, product images. Okay. So that's. Uh, I hope that was helpful, guys. Right. So um, just test the button. You can test the button. You can put in your shop URL. So what's gonna happen is. Uh, you'll edit the button and then you put in the shop URL of your Shopify store, okay? And maybe you have a generic store. Maybe your maybe your Shopify store is generic. So what I do is I, I put in, you know, like uh, damiansshop.com forward slash collections forward slash horse. And then it's going to send them uh, to the actual shop, uh, horse collection, right? Okay? So be innovative, right? Be innovative. Okay, um, so that's fine. Okay, now the next thing I want to talk about, guys, is ad copy, and ad copy is very important, right? So, 
what I like to call is I like to call the call to action, right? So look, took, and hook, right? So three stages to um, engaging and gathering a customer attention, right? Okay. Okay. So the first stage is look, okay? So guys, you, so basically, right? You are competing, you are competing for news feed um, um, space, right? Okay. You want to catch the customer's attention, okay? So the first step is look, right? If you have a great product, but if people aren't looking at the product, you have, you have a problem, okay? So, to start the first stage, right, which is look, right, here's how I usually do it, right? My first, my first line in the ad copy is, um, are you a horse lover, right? Okay? So, are you a horse lover? First of all, I'm saying, I want, I'm engaging with my customer. I'm saying, okay. Are you a horse lover? Because I'm a horse lover as well, okay? Let's be friends or let's connect. Let me show you what I have, okay? So what I'll say is I'll say, you know, um, horse lovers, horse lovers are going crazy over our limited supply of, um, you know, hoodies, okay? Um, these are not... These are not sold in stores, okay? So that's the that, that's the look, right? I want to tell I want to tell them that hey, are you a horse lover? And then I'm saying hey, horse lovers, right? Because I'm saying that other people like you are going crazy over our limited supply of hoodies, right? So here I'm I'm promoting scarcity. So I'm saying that we have a limited supply of hoodies, right? Because technically we do because. We are a print-on-demand uh, fulfillment company, right? So what I'll do is I'll say, and here's the thing. A lot of the customers, right, a lot of the customers, they don't know, they don't know how ads are structured, right? So you'll see a lot of people commenting like, you know, how do I buy this, okay? So let me just finish off the, the, this first, okay? So these are not sold in stores. And then I'll put in the grab one, all right? Grab one, okay? And then I'll put in the URL, okay? And then the last piece is tag, share with someone who would, would love, okay? Now, here's the thing, guys, right? Also, add in relevant emojis, okay? Now, the reason why emojis are important is because they elicit a response. They elicit a customer response, right? So let's go to maybe here and go to emoji. Emoji horse. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll copy the emoji and I'll come back into here and I'll say, Are you a horse? Are you a horse lover? Boom. All right. So now what I'm doing is I'm making the ad copy kind of more interactive, more more fun, right? So I think the, well, the, these ad copies are working for me, right? So it's something you should look at. Be creative, right? Don't just put the same thing. Try and stand out with your ad copy, you know? Another one might be, um, um, you know, would be like, um, you know, did you, did you know, you know, there are X number of horses in the USA? Like, like come up with a stat. Come up with an engaging engaging that right cuz cuz not everyone likes the ad the, the sales the ad copy right so if you start off with something very interesting that you know maybe that horse lover doesn't know about they're also going to be very startled and they're like oh wow this guy he knows he knows horses or he knows you know okay so that's the first part guys the next part is um, took, right? So the, 
the tuck is actually the tuck is um you know what I've described here sorry so um was the the look is actually the, so are you a horse lover the tuck is actually um you know these are not sold in stores right okay and you're saying you know you have to buy you have to buy now or they are gone forever okay something like that right and the hook the hook the hook is buy now share with friends right share with, with friends okay so you want to not only do you want them to buy but you also want to um, encourage them to share and like because the more more shares and likes on your ad the more Facebook is going to share are going to um, allow more reach your your frequent your frequency oh, sorry your your um, your CPC goes down your CPM goes down and your relevance your relevance score goes closer to 10 now guys the relevance score is basically a score between 1 and 10 how much how much um how much related how related your your product to customer match is okay so that's one column it's a column it is a column in Facebook okay so you can look at that column and maybe maybe you have negative feedback if you have bad comments and feedback on your ad it may reduce the score okay so keep an eye on that guys okay so that's all about ad copy guys I want you to be unique um, let's go here and just see have we got any um, just okay I'm just gonna go back here loving this daily step-by-step -step training another reason to stay focused on being a marketer first thank you miles Miles, Miles, you're doing great things. I admire you. Ryan, audio and video good. Thank you so much. Your writing is very small that you were typing. Can you make it bigger? Okay, I will try and do that. By the time it's over, we're all going to be selling each other stuff. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys so far. Excellent, excellent. I'll try and make my writing bigger, but again, let's see. Um, let's edit. Edit, select all. Maybe. Um, No, let's try eighteen. Let's see. All right, let's go back up where I was. Okay. Life cycle. Okay, so let's just go back to here. Sorry for the interruption, guys. Um, someone wanted to uh, get the, the, the text bigger. So let's see. Uh, do we have anything in here that stands out? So here, here's, a nice, here's a nice ad, right? Here's a nice background. Free, just pay ship, right? So nightmare before Christmas pillows, free just pay shipping. See the way see the way they're using emojis as well, right? So you've got to be unique, guys. Like twenty four hour flash sale. This is creating urgency, right? See the way I said earlier about grab yours. So this is like I'm making a connection with the customer. I'm saying, hey, you, the person that's viewing my ad, I'm saying you grab yours, okay? And then as you can see, I'm not using a bit .do link. I'm not using a Google link. I'm using the full URL because. I've tested, um, I've tested my, my ad copies and it works better when you give the, few, the, the, the full URL, okay? If we run out of stock, check back. See, this is, this is great because this is like, you're promoting so much, um, 
you know, exclusivity and you're promoting like, um, you know, if you don't get yours today, you know, it's gone forever, right? Um, four babies, hit different type of ad, more hats. Here's another ad, glow in the dark, heart and moon, free. See the emojis again, guys? So buy it now. Look at the shares. Look at the shares, guys. So I can tell you right now that this is this is a high-performing product. You may look at it and think, well, it's only a simple necklace, but, but glow in the dark, heart and moon necklaces. See? The emoji, elicited and response, right? The love heart. Free plus shipping, okay? Buy it now. And it's putting the link. So the targeting, whoever targeted this necklace is doing a great job because... Heart and Moon, maybe they're targeting like mom, mom and daughters, um, but it's it's pretty amazing, right? Let's look some more. Um, just pay shipping, and what about what about it when I type tag, share, tag share with friends? Okay, let's see what happens when when I do this. So you can see. <laughs> See the way, see the way Chris, Chris and I have the same mentality, right? So let's go to, let's go to uh, photos maybe. And you can see here, right? Look at, look at all the products that come up, right? All really good ad copy, really good, really good ad copy. You know, proud Capricorn woman, okay? So again, the targeting is pretty easy here, guys. Pretty easy targeting. So let's go back here. So let's go, um, Let's go to women and Capricorn. And you know what I like about this um, is that it's a very, it stands out, the, the purple and white on the black background, okay. The ad copy could be a bit better though. The ad copy um, could be a bit better. Some more. Uh, again, guys, ad copy is so important. You know. So uh, as as the e-commerce journey goes on, guys, you've got to you've got to be more. Um, so as as competition as competition increases, you have to stand out from the crowd. Okay. Okay, be unique. All right. So that's basics about ad copy, guys. Um, really, really, um, you know, you may have a great product, but if your ad copy sucks, um, you know, you may have a hard time getting that engagement, okay? And the other thing with ad copy is monitor your ad copy comments, okay? People don't... Some people, some people don't know how to buy the product. Funnily enough. So um, you, you may see a lot of people say, um, how do I buy this? You know, even though you put the link in the, in the, in the description, People are maybe focused on the ad image and they don't look at the they don't look at the ad copy. So have a have your VA or have you go down maybe every evening and reply and say you know so here should be here should your reply your reply should be this thank thank you so much for engaging on our product you can get it here. And then you put in the URL, all right? And I can guarantee you, when people see that interaction, that human interaction, it's like, oh wow, this is actually a good company. They're replying to me, and etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? So, guys, a lot of people ask me, you know, since since I've begun, was you know, which ad copy do I use? Well, you have to you have to test them all. Okay, okay. Um, so we are buying data. Okay, we are using the data to see what works best. Okay, 
typically, typically I start five dollars a day for for five dollars a day for um, each product for five days. Okay. So what happens is I'm all about volume, right? I am all about volume. Okay. So um, let's just put this here. Okay. So with this system, right, guys, I'm uh, spending twenty-five dollars on each product per week. All right. If I test, if I test twenty products, my ad spend for the week is five hundred dollars. Typically your success rate is two or three out of ten products. Okay guys? So if you're willing to invest guys, remember this is a business, you know, like retail stores prior to e commerce, prior e com Retail stores had it hard. No, they had to pay for um, lighting, um, storefront, inventory, staff, etc. Right? With e com, startup costs cheaper. All right? Be prepared to spend money. Test. There is no substitution for testing, guys, right? I promise you guys, when you test and you, you put so much work into testing, you're going to be rewarded, right? You will be rewarded for your test efforts, right? Okay, guys, so a lot of people say, oh, I spent, you know, $10 on a product and I haven't got any sales. Well, guys, you need to spend a lot more than that, right? You need to spend like $20 at least, right? So spend 20 or 25 spend 20 to 25 And if no sales are our engagement is bad. You have a product or targeting issue. Okay, cut the cut the campaign and start. Maybe. Okay. However, however, if you have a lot of likes and shares, you may need to adjust pricing or shipping. Or another variable okay guys because that means that you know people are liking the product but there's something else there is something else going on right maybe your website is bad or something our link links are not working all right etc okay so guys be prepared to spend 20 to $25 on each product you're testing, right? Let it run. So $5 a day for five days, right? And here, okay, let me actually break down, right? I'm gonna break down how do I, how do I, um, how do I run my product tests? Product tests, all right? Okay, how do I run my product tests, right? Okay, so Sunday is chill, right? Okay, the start of the week is chill there, right? Monday, Monday is product research. All right, 
And I'm product research, right? And I'm looking at all these different sites, right? AliExpress, this is why I'm broke.com, shut up and take my money, Amazon.com, Etsy.com, Niche Miner, Wish.com, WatchCount.com, Trade Magazines, ASD Week, Retail Stores, Facebook Search Bar, right, guys? So on Sunday, I'm chilling out, I'm having fun. Monday, it's product research, right? Monday, Monday tends to be worst. Uh, sales day. Hence, I did put value. Hence, I put value into product. All right. Sunday, chill day and team meeting. All right, because my team are based all over the world, okay? Um, team based all over the world, all right? Now, Monday product research, right? On Tuesday, on Tuesday, launching ads, all right? Launching ads, okay? So this is going to be the first 24 hours of optimization, right? So optimization is where... Facebook needs time to calibrate and it needs time to optimize your product or your offer to whatever targeting you have suggested, okay? So it needs to get the algorithm going. It needs to um, start looking at exactly what you're wanting, right? Because the more, the more information you give Facebook, the easier it is for them to go and find you your prospect, okay? Wednesday, right? Wednesday will be... Launching ads. So I'm also going to launch ads on Wednesday, right? So it'd be 24 to 48 hours. So right now you're getting your engagement will start to come in, right? On on when on Wednesday, okay? All right. So Thursday, big sales usually. Big sales day usually. People people get paid, right? Okay. Okay. So sales should, sales or purchases or add to cart should start happening. All right. Friday, Friday ads should now be fully optimized. Okay, and then um, Saturday, um, what I'll do then is um, I will look at the ads and I will cut users after $25 ad spend and start duplicating the winning ad sets, all right? The less you change your ad sets, the better. Every time, every every time you change, every time you uh, component of your ad, Facebook needs. All right, so guys, the reason why um, the reason why I like to let my ad sets run and do not touch them is because you know every time you make an adjustment to your ad, right, you're basically upsetting the algorithm, right? Okay. Calibrate. I think that's how you spell it. Is it? Okay, I'll change it after. Okay, so the less you change your ad sets, the better. Um, every time you need to change the component, etc. Okay, so I will cut and be be. Be religious in your cutting of ads, okay? Okay, because guys, over time we're going to be having so many ad sets that we're going to have winners, we're going to have losers, okay? All right. So let's go, actually let's go to maybe some of these sites, right? This is, this is why I'm broke, okay? 
So this is a site um, that I saw a few months back and I got some ideas from it, you know, but um, it may not be. Is it still up? Yeah, it's still up. I'll just read some of these comments first. How many ads do you launch per day? Um, typically on Mondays and Tuesdays is when I launch all my ads. And honestly, right now I have, a hundred and, I have a hundred and, um, 120 ad sets going right now. I have 120 ad sets, Vivian, um, going right now. So that will probably be, I have maybe like 50, I have 50, 50 products running right now. Um, if you are a beginner, beginner and you don't have a big of a budget, is it okay to test just one product a week? Joe, I mean, yes, it's okay to test one product a week, but be sure that that product you're testing has a likelihood of succeeding, right? But again, guys, um, you know, it's all about volume, right? I, I promise you guys, I promise you, right? Let me, let me just put this down. I promise you, the more you test and put your mindset fully into this, the more you will succeed quicker, right? Okay, I promise you guys, because it's a volume game, okay? It's a volume game, right? And be impartial, right? Okay? So this site, I don't know why that's not loading, but yeah. So this is a, this is a site, uh, let's see. It just gives you another idea, right? Um, it's not really showing that great to me, but there's stuff in here that you can like you can you can check out, and it's kind of like maybe it's it's gone kind of um, X rated. I don't know, but anyway, let's go back. Um, so another one, guys, is shut up and take my money. Um, Etsy. So guys, over time, when we become more comfortable, we can start uh, putting our products on Etsy as another as another platform, right? So uh, I know a lot of people selling mugs on here, um, et cetera, et cetera, but we're focused primarily right now, guys, on Shopify. But you can, you can find ideas in here, right? So you can go mugs. Just let me take a drink. So FC, good, people sell mugs. Okay. Um, so basically, right, let's see, email list. Yeah, Chris's computer is going slow right now, but uh, okay, here. So again, guys, Etsy, not a great place for you to find ideas. Um, you know, like customize, like almost now you may speak, never mind, time to poop. So again, guys, like if you have not seen any of these designs before, there's a very, very strong likelihood that this is something you should test, right? You can test like, I like her bud, uh, like this is for couples, so you can target people who are in a relationship, or who are newlywed. So again guys, Chris, I presume he showed you how to target people who are newlywed, three month newlywed, six month newlywed. Here's another one, the mug motivation. Again, a great design, you know, you target people who love animals. Beer drinkers, right? So there's so many different products here. Photographers, you can target. You could target people who love coffee and photography. So, guys, it's all about right. So, let's go back up here. So, coffee, coffee and photography, right? Okay. So, uh, let me see. Um, I I could do a Facebook ad, but I'm not too sure. Let's see. Is this Chris's? Maybe maybe I won't. Okay. I was going to show you how I, how I would drive traffic to a coffee and photography. It's pretty simple, right? So I do flex targeting, right? Flex targeting. So, okay, so let's look at, let's take one more look at this. Okay, this is a warning. At any time, I may snap. This is fantastic. I mean, this is an amazing. I actually, my sister's in photography, and I, I'd actually buy this for her because this is really, really, this is really smart, you know? Um... So let's see, right? So what I do is I would say, okay, flex targeting. I would target um, women in the USA, right? And I would go, because I want my audience to be highly passionate first, right? Highly passionate, right? Highly passionate audience, for starters. Why? 
Why you may ask, right? Okay, why? Because we have three three levels. Pond, lake, pond, lake, and ocean. Okay. Audience sizes, right? Now guys, at the very beginning of your ad, right? At the very beginning of the ad, you need to be in this section, right? When you're launching your ad, right, you need to be in the pond section because right now you have no engagement. You have, you know, very little reach. So you need to really find, you need to go and find the people, people most likely to buy, right? To kick start the algo, right? To kick start the algorithm, right? So the way I would target this mug, right, is I would say women in the USA, and I would go 22 to 64, right? Uh, I usually don't go below 22 because uh, some of my products, you know, they're expensive and, and people below that may not have the money to spend, okay? But you, you should test it. You should split test it, right? <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So then I would say, show me anyone who loves loves Canon um, or any other um, brand associated, right? All right. Then I would say, and show me women who love. So, like sites like www.fineartamerica.com, right? Because these sites, these sites are where passionate people who have art and they want to sell, right? So, loves Canon or any other brand associated to cameras, right? Okay. So show me women who love Fine Art America, other websites, okay? And final, I'll do a third level flex. And show me who like um, you know photography, uh, photography magazines or forums. Okay, this gives you this gives a highly targeted audience. Okay, pond stage, right? Okay, guys, that's an example. Uh, and then as you get more traffic, and, and I want to keep this very basic because we're still in the build stage as a community. So everyone on this 90-day challenge is still in a build stage. Um, throughout the course, we're going to teach you how to, how to grow this pond stage. But first, guys, it's all about really, really, really targeted audiences, okay? And I can guarantee you, well, I won't guarantee you guys, but if someone goes and gets this design and puts it on a t-shirt, puts it on a hoodie, puts it on a poster, and they do this sort of targeting... I guarantee you're going to get sales, right? You know, so you can switch around the ad, the, the targeting, but it's something like this, okay? Something like that, okay? So again, guys, let's see more. Papa Bear, this looks like a groomsman. Again, um, I'm actually going to be in Ireland uh, in September for my brother's wedding. So again, this is a great idea. Really, really, really unique. Uh, you can probably, you know, get your, your own customized um, name, etc. on it, right? So let's maybe go back to um, AliExpress. And typically, I'll show you um, how, I'm, how I go about. Um, let's see. How do you talk? On stage? No, organic. Yeah. So I can talk about email list. Okay, guys. So as you are gathering data and possible email signups tell stories introduce yourself grow the following okay so so typically the way I do my email marketing is I use MailChimp, right? So I, I do I use MailChimp, right? Now on Mondays, Monday ask 
about the weekend of your customer tell a story okay storytelling right it's important right it's important to build a relationship right so Wednesday will be my trying to convert non buyers to buyers and then Friday Thursday Thursday or Friday my big email promotion right okay guys so again I won't go too much detail into it but you should be starting your email list because again everybody everybody should think okay guys so I'm gonna go back to the questions let's see Paul Bailey oh my god um, love the day-by-day -day ideas thank you Cara um, wonderful gold nuggets by the truckload thank you guys the issue is budget yes um, I understand like guys budget budget is a, is a thing but you've really got to like I want you guys to become um, like really focused on like map out your plan what is it you want to achieve okay what what are your goals like do you want to make a hundred dollars well if you want to make a hundred dollars guys and you want to be entered into this into this um, Bora Bora trip I want you guys to start creating a spreadsheet on how how you're gonna do it okay so I mentioned earlier guys about you know about having the five dollars a day at five dollar at five uh, five dollars a day for five days okay you're gonna get engagement guys right so I want you to put in a plan a plan of action right you know like this is not this is not gonna happen for you guys over two or three days it will happen for you guys in the next few weeks. I can guarantee you that, right? So the ones that are committed to make it happen, it will happen, right? So um, let's see. Uh, any other questions? Let's go down to the bottom. Write them, cowboy. Yeah. Thank you. So guys, excellent, excellent, excellent. Can you share the doc? The doc, the doc will be shared at the very end. Uh, Taha, the doc will be shared. Yeah. Thank you, George. Um, has anyone got any other questions uh, before I, I might move on to more AliExpress stuff and trying to find those products? Because really, like identifying the products is is a, is a tr is a tricky is a tricky thing, right? Um, awesome strategy. Thanks, Damien. Thanks, Damien. This is the best strategy to get real loyal customers. Yes, it is because. I'm not building a cash flow system, uh, like a one one soft cash flip. Flip. I'm building long term, sustainable brands because the, at the end of the day, in in a year from now, I'm hopefully going to have a million dollars in revenue, right? So you can imagine what that million dollars in revenue is worth to me, uh, in terms of like you know selling it to an investor, right? Okay. So thank you, Lisa. What kind of ads are you using? Debbie, um, I'm using website conversion. Let me put that down for you guys. Um, add type. Add type. Website con conversion. Uh, 1200. 1200 by 1200. Or 1200 by 1650. Depending on your product you'll know because when you when you create the two different versions you know which one looks best all right the other ad type ad type 2 ad type 2 is um, video video views video views to get cheap clicks right video views to get cheap clicks because I, I can retarget them later and retargeting, I don't want to go into retargeting right now. But again, guys, isn't this so exciting? You're building, you're building custom audiences. You're building all these people that are coming to your store. Like last night, I had 8,000 people come to the store. My goal now over the next few days is to convert 
a lot of those people who didn't buy into actual customers, right? And the other type, um, ad type, ad type is um, PPE, right? So PPE, right? So PPE is uh, post page engagement, right? So these are more likely to share. These people more likely to share, to like and comment. My, my, my typing is bad because I'm going 100 miles an hour, but it's all good. So um, to answer your question, um, use, P use a combination of PPE and use a combination of WC um, purchase, right? Website conversion purchase or website, website um, add to cart, okay? Again, guys, you, you're, you're, your own, you're your, own, um, your own benchmark. You are going to have to step outside your comfort zone in the first part of your, your endeavors in e-commerce and try these different ad copies, Right? I promise you guys, the more you try, the more you're able to analyze the data and figure out that, hey, for this type of product, PPE is not working. But for some reason, when I run a video to this necklace, the engagement is crazy high. It's because Facebook's algorithm works in such a way that the more you're able to match a product to a customer, or the more you're able to deliver an ad copy, the more Facebook is going to say, hey, this engagement is crazy. And Facebook is not really a social media company. It's, it's an advertising company, right? And Facebook is all about getting that revenue, right? Revenue growing over months, quarter, quarter, quarter over quarter. So, guys, they're constantly innovating. And you, you guys got to innovate with them, right? So, if there's a new ad copy comes out or a new strategy comes out, you've got you've to adjust, Okay. So any other questions? What's your average profit percentage? What's your average profit percentage on the 400K revenue? Um, obviously, that's, per that's a personal thing, but I'm not going to tell, tell you exactly. But generally, e-commerce runs anywhere between 18% to 30% or 35%. It's up to you, really, to identify those products that allows you to get the best margin. So I'm not going to tell you exactly what my margin is, but it's pretty good because I've invested so much time in perfecting the formula. Okay, guys? Um, any other questions? Um, Damien, what? When doing Facebook advertising, are you using retargeting to build custom audiences? I'm using, I'm using retargeting. I'm using lookalike audiences. Um... I'm doing. I'm actually doing a lot of uh, promotion, so I'm doing competitions. Let's see, write that down. Um, so, so retargeting, retargeting, lookalike audiences. Um, let's see, competitions. I'm running like these little competitions. Um, prizes on a Friday. So I encourage people to like share and comment like share and comment to win a you know t-shirt or, or a shirt or whatever whatever it is because because my goal my goal is out of that competition is out of my competition is to make more uh, revenue from the engagement, right? Because my, my, my cost, my cost of the shirt is like, you know, $9, right? $9 cost of the competition. And it's a simple post, guys, on your fan page. Just go onto your fan page and say, hey, guys, who wants to win a t-shirt, right? So my goal out of the competition is to make more revenue from the engagement, $9 cost of the competition. So two goals, right? So one, I want more fans more fans, and two, more engagement, right? Because he here's why I want more engagement, guys. Because when I start running that ad for real, it's already going to have that engagement necessary for Facebook to optimize. So I'm already ahead of the curve. Remember, guys, use your fans as, use your fans as part of your business, right? Treat them well, and they, and they will convert, I promise you. If, if you are not monitoring your fan page, if you are not engaging with your fans on a daily basis, if you are not providing value, they will just go somewhere else, okay? <clears throat> so again, guys, build 
grow and scale these assets, all right? Now, AliExpress, let's see what's going on with that. I'm just trying to log in. Uh, Chris's computer is very hot right now. Uh, he's working it really hard. He's been giving massive value to you guys over the last few few weeks. And, you know, you've got to realize this. Chris, Chris is a CEO of a company, hands-on training to you guys to make it work for you guys, right? There's no one else does that, right? So you've got to be appreciative. You've got to be interactive. You've got to make this work, okay, guys? John Curtis, I'm super stoked. Thank you, man. Again, I'm like you, John. I didn't know anything about e-commerce, right? I left a job. I was kind of fearful. I was like, was I making the right decision? So again, guys, massive action, I promise you. So Peter's just come into the room right now. Um, let's, Peter, so how are we looking right now? Uh, You're doing awesome, guys. I mean, if this is, I want to know, this is Peter Sorensen here, here at uh, Tech Academics headquarters. Like Damien said, a, a Big D has been absolutely crushing it on you on the mindset, product research, selling strategies, a schedule for how he builds his business to build, grow, and scale his business. If this has been valuable for, leave Damien, leave Chris. If this 90-day e-com challenge, this series of daily training for free. You guys, you're going to realize some people can be charging hundreds or if not thousands of dollars for this type of information. Literally hours. Damien's gone on over an hour of high-level training. If this has been valuable, let us know. Let D know in particular. Let Damien know and share. How has this been valuable? What have you learned? What have you got from this uh, today's session. What have you got from the previous day sessions with the Chris record? And again, this is just day six of the 90 day e-com challenge. Literally nuts and bolts training for you for free. If this has been valuable for, uh, valuable for you so far, let us know how has it been valuable? What have you learned and what actions have you taken, right? What actions are you going to take as a result of this training? Because it means one thing to say, hey, this is valuable. We want to get that feedback, right? And feedback's important. If there's something you want to learn more about, let us know about that too. But you know what's even more valuable is with Damien, Chris, myself, when we see you take action, when we see you post screenshots and you're getting some results, it doesn't matter whether it's $10,000 in a day or a dollar, you know, $10. What matters is you're taking action and you're doing something, you're moving forward. Like Damien mentioned earlier, don't compare yourself to anyone else, right? Compare yourself to you. Are you a little bit better today than you were yesterday? Are you learning something today that you didn't learn yesterday? Are you taking an action today, tomorrow, so that next week, you know, in week two of the 90-day challenge, uh, you know, you can be progressing? So let us know. It's been over an hour now. Uh, you know, I'll let Damien kind of wrap up here. He's been answering a lot of questions for you, just serving massive value. You know, again, just giving you free, uh, you know, information that could literally charge for and we're giving this to you because we want you to succeed, right? And hey, our, you know, if we had information on a higher level, a little more advanced and in depth, that was, uh, you know, was a paid program or a paid uh, product, would you guys want to learn? If you could learn more advanced strategies and in depth from Chris and Damien and other six and seven figure sellers, would you want to be a part of that group? I'm just actually curious. Uh, but again, this is just free, right? But if, you, if you're getting value from this, obviously, Techademics. We're putting on the 90-day challenge, e-com challenge here at Techademics. Obviously, Techademics, we have a school for entrepreneurs. We have classes. We have courses. We have different products that we offer our members. But again, this is just all free to help you get going. So if this has been valuable to you, to you, you know, let us know. If this is something you want to learn more of, uh, if, you, you know, if you'd like to have Damien on future uh, trainings in the 90-day challenge, let us know. Right? The feedback from you is important. Uh, you know, feedback that what you're learning, what you want to learn more of, what you, where do you, who do you want to hear from? You know, we're going to be introducing to you various trainers, various what we kind of call our ecom power sellers. Damien's one of the top sellers in our community. He's crushing it. And there's so many other others. And we want to be able to feature different people that are in, in the Tech Academics community, that are in the challenge, that are getting results, right? And uh, the really cool thing is that can be you, right? Damien didn't yeah. start off day one as an expert, right? One of my mentors said this, and I'll let Damien jump in. Every master was once a disaster. I want you to write down, if you're taking notes, write this down. Every master was once a disaster, right? We are all new at something. We're all babies, if you will, at some point in our life about something, right? So whether it's e-commerce or whether it's a little baby learning how to walk. At the end of the day, you go from nothing, not knowing, to knowing, to knowing more, to becoming to the point where you're so confident, you're so knowledgeable, you've done it so much, you know, uh, you just literally, it's unconsciously competent, right? But you start, we all start unconsciously incompetent, 
We don't even know what we don't know, right? Now you're beginning to learn what you know as well as what you don't know. You're like, wow, I didn't know that, but you're learning. So I want you to realize every mass was once a disaster. Continue to plug in, continue to take action, and do what people like Chris and Damien are teaching you. And I gotta let you know too, not every single day is gonna be an hour or two out, you know, hour or two live. Because at some point, you know, there's a curve. There's a learning curve in the beginning, and then as you learn more, as you get going, you do a lot more doing than you do learning. And then your days become okay, a little bit of learning, lots of doing, a little bit of learning, lots of doing. That being said, Damien, I'll let you uh, t- hop in. Anything else you want to share before we wrap up? Yeah, everything Peter said there is spot on, guys. Like six months ago, I didn't know Peter Sorensen. I didn't know Chris Record. I was just a guy sitting sitting in a, in, in, in a room looking at Chris sharing his vision, sharing his vision for the, for, for, for the community, etc., etc. But I made a commitment. I got my mindset right. I set goals and I said to myself, I need to learn Facebook ads. I need to learn e-commerce. I need to surround myself with other people. I need to engage in forums. I need to set aside money. I need to sacrifice my night outs for maybe nights researching products. Okay, guys? The more you give in and the more value you provide, guys, I promise you it's going to come back to you um, really quickly. Okay? So uh, there's a lot of you guys like commenting right now. You're probably going to be doing the same thing I'm doing in six months' time. Okay? This is, this is a journey, guys, right? And, uh, you know, I'm delighted to be teaching you guys. And, um, you know, if there's any other questions before I wrap up, wrap up um, uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your day today to be on this call. Um, you know, it's showing that you're, you're taking the first steps to making and creating that, your, your brand, you're, you're creating something that you own, right? This is your asset, okay? So, uh, a night out, Steve, a night out is like when I go drinking with my buddies, pints of Guinness and stuff like that. So guys, the Irish entrepreneur, the Irish entrepreneur, yes sir. So guys, basic thing, I'm gonna let Peter wrap up. Um, if you have any other questions, post them below. Like, share, and comment this broadcast. Or sorry, like, share, and comment this uh, this live. And um, we're we're gonna get the engagement going. And I will answer more questions tonight. I gotta go back to Facebook ads right now because. I'm running you gotta get back to business, back guys. To so, business. You know, Damien's been giving, sharing, and a wrap up. But like you said, like, comment, share, get in the group. Obviously, after this training, Chris, Damien, myself, you know, other, you know, other members, obviously, will be here in the group. Be updating notes. Uh, you have access to these notes, right? So all of you guys, you have access. You can see their group. Uh, you'll have access. Uh, I'm not gonna re- work with this right now, but you basically, you guys will have access to all these notes. We'll even clean them up, probably, to organize them. So again. Peter Sorensen here with Chris Record uh, and Tech Academics. Damien is absolutely crushing it. I like to call him the Irish entrepreneur. He's going to get back to his business now. I hope you appreciate the plus hour plus he's, he's devoted here to teaching you some high-level strategies. Again, only day six. Guys, can you believe this? At one of the testimonials from the other day, I just thought this was powerful. I mean, uh, this is just powerful, powerful stuff. Guys, again, tag, share some cool stuff there. I love that, by the way. Yeah. Um, guys, we're going to wrap up today. We're going to see you in the group, obviously. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, day seven. Tomorrow will be day seven, the 90-day Ecom Challenge. If you're watching this on recording, uh, you know, every single day, we'll be bringing different tr- trainers, different instructors. Again, some will be longer than others. Some will be shorter. You know, some days might just be a five or ten minute training. Other days might be a two-hour training, right? You just never know. At the end of the day, we're just here to give you value, here to support you to help you build, grow, and scale a successful e-commerce business on Shopify and help all of you guys get to at least $10,000 in sales over this 90-day journey so you can have the eligibility to be entered into our 90-day e-com challenge sales incentive contest. Our bonus is where we're literally giving away a trip to Bora Bora. We're giving away a trip, I'm sorry, uh, $20,000 cash. We're giving away a 19 late 60s muscle car, like a 19 Chevy, you know, SS uh, 69 SS Camaro, and uh, it's just powerful, powerful stuff. And if you love this, you can share your challenge with the other people as well. You can actually become affiliates as well and share the challenge with others too. If you're getting value, uh, you can do that. You can reach out to myself, uh, Chris. We can help you do that too. So that being said. We're going to uh, sign off here for the uh, the day, call it a day. You guys are awesome. And with that being said, we will see you tomorrow in the 90-Day Ecom Challenge for day number seven. Until then, take care, take massive action. We'll see you in the Facebook group.